And we think the Bayou City has some of the best parks in the country, and the Houston Arboretum is no exception. You are correct, uh, but keeping invasive species in line, now that's tall order and requires the services of some rather unlikely employees. Here's Brittany Ford. Up on all fours, hidden in the tree branches. Staying hungry is an easy task for these eco-friendly lawnmowers. The one thing about using the goats is that they can remove a lot of the mass with the overgrown vegetation. Carolyn Carr is the co-owner of Rent A Ruminant, Texas. Her team of 150 goats returning to the Houston Arboretum and Nature Center for the third year in a row. Their job, a tough one, feasting on up to 2.3 acres, weeding out invasive species and shrub. If you were just to cut this out and it was still full, you would have a huge mound that you would have to dispose of. But with the goats, they can eat that. They actually uh, create fertilizer to help with the soil. In just two days, the goats have turned what looked like this into this. It's amazing how fast they work, though. A spectacle that brings out Houstonians each year. We saw them last year on the other side over there, and we were looking for them over there. We didn't realize they had come to this area, but it's really cool. Knowing each one by name. Beckham. Oh, that's little bit. That's Wendy. That's Brandon. <laughs> Carr says the goats don't mind being the center of attention for a job that's more like a treat. I don't know if they know that they're exactly working goats. Um, <laughs> they are definitely having fun goats. Brittany Ford, KHOU 11 News.